All right, let's talk about this news. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. OB1 plays. going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with the video give the video a huge like 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 thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up let's destroy the like button because we're about to hit you with the flames we have some dope 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 news items to talk about and i got a new filter I like playing around with the software and so i'm like transparent i'm gonna use this on my gaming channel for when i'm gaming so you can see the gameplay behind me but i say you know what let's record a video like this why because we like being different all right for this video let's discuss all of the major and latest nintendo switch pro slash switch 2 slash nintendo next gen hardware this is going to be your wrap up of all of the latest uh, news items all of the rumors all in one video and there is some interesting stuff that you may not even know was on the table for nintendo's next gen art hardware this article <coughs> the source is coming from tomsguy.com and let's get right to it there has been the an nvidia leak that's popped up on the internet most of you already know about it that a new switch is in the works now this is some interesting stuff an industry analyst has predicted that nintendo will in fact skip the switch pro and go straight to a next gen nintendo console <clears throat> interesting we all know last gen we went from ps4 to ps4 pro and then finally a ps5 i did have a ps4 and a ps4 pro and in hindsight i really didn't need the pro the ps4 pro because they made such a good console with the ps4 that uh, the iterative upgrade it wasn't really necessary um the game the difference the gaming experience it wasn't worth it in my opinion i still got it because i'm a gamer and i try to i get all the consoles but interesting to see that we might not even get a switch pro and nintendo's gonna go just go straight next gen so that we can see a noticeable the key word is we want to see a noticeable difference in power and for the most part, Nintendo's first party games, they look cool. They look great. Nintendo doesn't really push the envelope with polygon count and all that stuff. <laughs> and so they look good. Breath of the Wild 2 is looking great. It's that cell shaded art style. But once you start getting to a lot of these third party games, that's where you really see, all right, Nintendo, the frames are erratic. The resolution is sub HD. That's when we could start seeing the need for a true generational leap. All right. Uh, this article is also saying developer kits for an upgraded Switch consoles were already given out at some point. But there's a chance these could be for a second generation Switch um, or a Nintendo console. All right. So here we go. Nintendo Pro rumors specs. Sources seem to offer different reports of what sorts of specs we can expect to see in the Switch Pro. <laughs> the majority of them appear to agree that they are likely to see support for 4K resolution in dock mode <clears throat> as well as better battery life. Couple of things. Let me get my, the latest Switch that I have. By the way, I do have a, I finally did um, bite the bullet and got a Switch OLED. Uh, that's coming in the mail this week. I'm back doing an unboxing. This is my mario red switch I, I bought about seven switches total lifetime but 
the battery life nintendo already improved the battery life in the switch consoles so i really don't see a need for better battery life if they have at least the same battery life as in the revised the latest version switch i think will be good to go but 4k resolution docked would be great 1080p handheld would be fantastic and so if nintendo can figure that out because if you're trying to do 4k undocked it's going to drain the battery life so it makes sense to scale back the horsepower when you're in handheld mode but when it's docked you're drawing from a, a direct power source crank it up to 4k that would be dope i'll be honest about 18 is it 1880p 2k instead of 4k 1880p 60 frames per second i'd be good i would be great with that 1080p 60 would be all right but i'm a little bit past i got a nice sony 4k tv and so 4k would be perfect all right all right and it talks about with the current uh, all right, it says currently the Switch features a custom Tegra X1. We already know that. That does 720p and th uh, 32 gigabyte storage. Another thing is storage. Ah, that's going to be tricky to crank up storage for a portable because the smaller size you go in storage, the more expensive. I currently have a one terabyte in this Switch model. So personally, I'm good on storage. I think whatever Nintendo comes out, it needs to have at least... 500 gigabytes of storage i mean if you want the gamers to put in games and if they're going to be 4k they're going to take up more space let's go to the latest next um big switch um general console generation news next gen nintendo news all right according to a notable data miner details found in a recent firmware update for the nintendo switch seems to indicate that the pro model this is if they go the pro route and not a true next gen will feature the same processor as the 2019 switch base model and the like the tegra x1 plus chipset the leak uncovered a project ula which indicates that the chipset will offer higher performances by being pushed to higher clock speeds supported by an improved cooling system series also in hinted that the console will receive a substantial visual upgrade with an OLED display and 4K capabilities in dock mode powered by a real tech chip. And so this is if they go the Switch Pro route, you'll see some increase. This it actually says a substantial visual upgrade. And if you go on 4K, that's a big upgrade because the current Switch, um, not even close. All right. Furthermore, here we go. A new probe into Switch firmware has revealed the line 4KP, and there's a, uh, um, a computer code that indicates the potential for a 4K output over Display over display Port over USB 3.0. Bloomberg, check this out. Bloomberg has also reported that 11 developers are in possession of 4K toolkits supplied by Nintendo. That is big. For them to come out and say, now we know Bloomberg, they said that they reported that Nintendo is coming out with the console this um, this year or even last year. But I really think the whole pandemic threw everyone, every every uh, everyone's um, gaming plans off. It affected Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo wasn't exempt either. So I really think the Switch OLED should have been the Switch Pro, but because of the supply chain got disrupted. Um, and it's hard to find next gen consoles. We all know that the Nintendo said, you know what? Let's just make a um, better screen and get this a supply chain of that going. <clears throat> and then once we have things in order for a next gen console, that's when we do it. So Bloomberg, I can't quite just knock them and say, oh, they were wrong. But things change. You get information and the console manufacturer changes plans. I, I've seen it before. I've gotten, trust me. If you see my DMs, you'll be surprised at some of the stuff that I know. And I'm not even making this up, like from legitimate sources that I have connections with behind the scenes. There's a couple of games that Nintendo announced that I knew they were coming out. But <coughs> Bloomberg has reported that 11 developers are in possession of 4K 
toolkits supplied by Nintendo. So this gives me a strong, strong, strong inclination that Nintendo's next console will support some kind of 4K. Part of me wants Nintendo to just future-proof the system. 4K is becoming more and more the norm. I remember it was a um, Nintendo CEO developer who said they weren't really interested in 4K because the TV, not a lot of people had 4K TVs. 4K TVs are relatively cheaper now, cheap now, where more and more households have 4K TVs. So I think Nintendo can see the, um, the rationale to um, come with a 4K TV. All right, and so some rumors, and this is the last section, seem to suggest that the Switch Pro might have some controversial features. In a now deleted 4chan post, <coughs> Uh, that the Switch Pro was significant hardware improvement can a custom Angler Xavier processor, 64 gigabytes storage, and 4K support. 64 gigabytes. I think I think that's doable to get started, but 64 gigabytes, that's like two 4K games or one 4K game. If they'd go the 64 gigabyte route, that's more for indie games and Nintendo's like buy your own storage. Um, because storage is relatively cheap. I bought this one terabyte. I've had this one terabyte in my Switch for years now, but I think you need more storage than that. So this article does also talk about, um, it's somewhere in here, and we all know about the DSSL rumor that the Switch will have that technology where it doesn't require as much horsepower to have games on par with say an Xbox Series X or PS5. My hope, my hope, and I said this on Twitter, and I think this is doable, Xbox Series S. I think Nintendo can come out with a handheld with the same horsepower as an Xbox Series S. What is the Xbox Series S? The Xbox Series S is arguably one of the best deals in gaming right now. You can play all of the same games as your Xbox Series X, but the resolution is bumped down a bit, but it has all of the same games. I'm hoping that Nintendo comes out with a handheld console because this is already a relatively small console. Nintendo figures out to squeeze it down. And this, this came out two years ago. So even then, the technology that's in here is cheaper to produce. So I'm hoping Nintendo comes out, but this is my hope, something on par with the Xbox Series S in handheld format. Nintendo does that, sweet, sweet spot for me. All right, dudes, those are some of the latest and greatest Nintendo Switch Pro Next Gen Switch 2 rumors. What are your hopes for a next-gen Switch hardware? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We are out, boy.